What's going on, everyone? I'm just a typical, average American, here today to react and learn about the most famous Norwegians throughout history. Now, believe me, when I was back in little American school growing up, they did not teach us anything about Norway or Norwegian history. We really just focused mostly on America. <laughs> so, surprise, surprise, they just mostly taught us about American history and very, very little world history and, and basically nothing about Norway. So I don't really know anything about historical important figures and people throughout Norwegian history. And I think that's, that's a really, really important thing to learn because we're talking about an entire nation's history throughout time. So many people, so many important people that I have never heard of or what they accomplished. So I'm actually quite excited today to finally set this straight and learn about famous Norwegians. So I have a list here that I'm gonna go through. Let's take a look. Number one is Vidkun Quisling back in 1945. Vidcom Abraham Lawrence Johnson Quisling, <laughs> that's a mouthful, was a Norwegian military officer, politician, Nazi collaborator. I think, uh, I think I have heard of this, this name, Quisling. I think in Norway, Quisling is like a word for traitor, right? Kind of like in America, it's Benedict Arnold. In Norway, it's like Quisling. It's like a traitor. He he worked with the Nazis during World War II. Yes. Yes, I think I this is like someone I have heard this name before. Famous Norwegian politician. He was a Nazi puppet government. Leading the Nazi puppet, puppet government. Wow, okay. There, <laughs> what a choice for the first person. All right. Anne Frid Lindstad. Excuse me if I pronounce these wrong. I'm definitely going to pronounce these incorrectly. Princess Anne Frid Rus, a Countess of Pluen, widely known as Anne Frid, also known by her nickname Frida, is a Swedish singer. Swedish? Oh, Norwegian Swedish. Okay, Norwegian Swedish singer. One of the founding members and lead singers of pop group ABBA. Oh, she's part of ABBA. I know ABBA. What? Yes. ABBA, they are Swedish, aren't they? But she is Norwegian and Swedish. Wow, that's cool. ABBA is, of course, a worldwide famous band even I have heard of, which, which is telling you something. I haven't heard of too many international bands, and I've heard of ABBA. Uh, environmentalist, singer, songwriter. Cool. Co-founded ABBA, basically, is her claim to fame. Next we have Rod Amundsen. Norwegian explorer of polar regions. Specialized in exploring polar region, Edmundsen was an important figure. Ooh, what did he explore? Man, what polar regions did he explore? I don't know, I'm not gonna, in this video, I'm not gonna dive too much into the details on any one person. I just wanna get a, a, an idea of all the different famous Norwegians. So he was an explorer back in the, man, 18, 1900s. Len Nystrom, Norwegian musician, singer-songwriter, actress, lead vocalist of the Danish-Norwegian Eurodance group Aqua. I have not heard of Aqua. That's cool. So she's a Norwegian singer uh, with the band Aqua. Okay, cool. Ah, oh, the 1990s super hit dance track Barbie Girl? She, she sang Barbie Girl? Wait, I've heard of Barbie Girl. That's a that's a very famous song in the United States. That's random. Okay. The lead the person who sang that is from Norway. Cool. <laughs> I'm learning all sorts of random stuff today. <laughs> okay. Henrik I Ibsen uh, was a Norwegian playwright, theater director, founders a founder of modernism in theater. I'm not sure what modernism means. Referred to as the father of realism, one of the most influential playwrights, was Norwegian. Wow. Wow, I don't know my playwrights. I know Shakespeare, but we also have Henrik Ibsen from Norway. Very cool. 
Wow. Yeah, okay, very cool. Morten Harket is a Norwegian singer and songwriter who is the lead vocalist of rock band AHA. Yes! Yes, I thought I recognized him. He is very... Man, he might be one of the most well-known to Americans. Because uh, AHA, Take On Me, is a ridiculously popular song around the world, including the United States. Morten Hark Harket. Okay, I didn't know his name. But he's in AHA. Very famous Norwegian band. Maybe the most famous Norwegian band, dare I say? Yes. Oh, he's awesome. And has a very unique singing voice, too. Very cool. Nice. Uh, Ingrid Bolso Berdal is a Norwegian actress. Uh, started with a short film called Limbo in 2005. Leading role in a Norwegian slasher film called Prey. <laughs> like a horror movie? She's been in over 14 films. I might recognize her. I'm not sure. Was she in Westworld? I, I might recognize her. Okay, so she's a very, very famous Norwegian actress. Cool. Uh, Nut Han Hamsen, Norwegian writer, awarded the Nobel Prize in literature. Work spans more than 70 years. Oh, famous Norwegian writer. That's cool. I don't know any Norwegian writers. Oh, grew, grew up in poverty. One of the most prolific, prolific Norwegian writers. Won a Nobel Prize in literature. That's awesome. Wow. Uh, Liv Ullman is a Norwegian actress. Another actress I didn't know of. Film director. One of the greatest European actresses of all time. See, that's the kind of thing why I like learning about this stuff, because there's all this, this famous, well-known people in Europe and in Norway specifically that so many billions of people around the world know about, but Americans don't. I don't, I don't know any of this. So, Liv Ullman. Okay. Very cool. Counted among the greatest European actresses. Roles in the films like The Immigrants? Cool. All right. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, Fr Frid Joff Nansen is a Norwegian polymath and Nobel Peace Prize laureate. Gained prominence at very various points of his life as an explorer, scientist, diplomat, humanitarian. This guy just seems like awesome. He just did it all. Wh when did he do this? In like the 1900s, 1922, he got a... Nobel Peace Prize. Wow. He must be a very, very famous Norwegian. He has done so much. He led the team that made the first crossing of the Greenland interior in 1888, traversing the island on skis. That is badass. Okay. Wow. That's awesome. What a cool guy. Oh, my gosh. All right. Edvard Grieg was a Norwegian composer and pianist, one of the leading Romantic-era composers. His music is part of the standard classical repertoire worldwide. So he's renowned worldwide. I just don't know my composers or pianists. He's Norwegian, famous pianist, Edvard Grieg. Cool, one of the most important composers of the 19th century. Awesome, awesome. Yeah, I, I knew it. I knew I knew I was going to enjoy learning about these famous Norwegians because there's so many Norwegians that have had an impact on the rest of the world that I've never gotten to learn about. So this is great and much needed. Edvard Munch is a Norwegian painter best known for The Scream. Ah, The Scream. Yes, yes. For a long time, I didn't know that that was a Norwegian painting. Uh, it's by Edvard Munch. Yes, very famous painting. One of Western art's most iconic images. Yep. Childhood was overshadowed by illness, bereavement, and the dread of inheriting a mental condition. Maybe that's how he got a lot of the inspiration for the scream. Gosh. Leif Erikson. Okay, that's a name that I recognize. That's like the only Norwegian historical fig figure that they ever talked about in school, like in American elementary school, in history class, 
Leif Erikson is mentioned. Uh, he's an explorer, I believe. Known as Leif the Lucky, a Norse explorer, who is thought to have been the first European to set foot on North America. Right. Very famous claim to fame. Literally the first European. Nor and he was Norwegian. That's awesome. I didn't know that. Who set foot in North America ever. That's awesome. Leif Erikson. Yes, he is very famous. Who else do we have? Ol Gunnar Solskjaer is a Norwegian professional football manager. Uh, what we would call soccer in the United States. Football manager. Man we, he was a manager of Manchester United. That's a big deal. Former player, has a forward. So he is a really, really successful Norwegian football player who became a coach. Basically, I don't, Americans, you know, I don't follow football. I don't know much about teams. I don't know much about players. Old Gunnar Suskjar, I'm sure he's very famous in Norway. Uh, Christopher Hivju, I do know of because of Game of Thrones, literally Game of Thrones. Uh, th he's probably one of the, mo the most famous Norwegian actors currently, just because of that one role. Best known for playing Tormund in Game of Thrones. Yes. He also did a little part in uh, The Witcher, too, I believe. Magnus Carlsen. Man, we're really hitting the modern-day famous Norwegians right now, aren't we? Magnus Carlsen? Probably... The most famous Norwegian alive right now. Just because chess has become so popular around the world and in the United States in the last five, ten years, chess has exploded. Magnus, considered basically the greatest chess player of all time, extremely famous household name in the United States, actually. He's actually a household name, and that is amazing, because... It's not too often that people from other countries become this well-known in America. So, Magnus Carlsen, five-time world chess champion, four-time world rapid chess champion, six-time world blitz chess champion. Yeah, I, sometimes I watch YouTube videos, like, with Magnus Carlsen. He's awesome. I like his personality. And he's insanely good at chess. There's no denying it. Askel Henny is a Norwegian actor, director, screenwriter. Best known for his roles in Headhunters, Hercules, and The Martian. Oh, I think he's he's actually been in some Hollywood movies. Hercules, The Martian. Yeah, I think I kind of recognize him. I didn't know he was Norwegian. Huh. Used to be the biggest action star in Norway. Oh. Askal Henny. He used to be just a huge action star in Norway, but he has... Uh, kind of transitioned and actually done some Hollywood movies. I, I recognize him for sure. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I didn't know he was Norwegian. Uh, Jens, Jens Stoltenberg, Norwegian politician, serving as the 13th Secretary General of NATO since 2014, member of the Norwegian Labor Party, so he's a Norwegian politician I'm not familiar with. He served as the 34th Prime Minister of Norway in 2000. Oh, cool. And again in 2005 till 2013. So he's been the Prime Minister of Norway. So I'm sure every Norwegian knows him. Jens Stoltenberg. Politician, and he's part of NATO. Cool, 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 cool. I don't know many Norwegian politicians. Now I do. Alicia Bo. Uh, known professionally, Alicia Bowe is an actress in the United States known for playing Jessica Davis in 13 Reasons Why. I have not seen 13 Reasons Why, but I know it's very, very, very popular in the United States, and a lot of Americans probably know Alicia Bowe here, who is actually Norwegian. Who knew? <laughs> uh, Niels Henrik Abel? Niels Henrik Abel was a Norwegian mathematician. Oh, here we go. We're going from uh, chess players to politicians to actors to mathematicians, who are important too. As I'm glad he's on this. Norwegian mathematician, pioneering contributions in many fields. Most famous result is the first complete proof 
demonstrating the impossibility of solving the general quintic equation in radicals. I'm not going to pretend I uh, understand what that means, but I have mad respect for anyone who makes a contribution to mathematics. And I, I didn't know any Norwegian mathematicians till now. Niels Abel. Very cool. Abstract algebra. Oh, man. <laughs> Kygo. Okay, I've heard of Kygo. He is a music producer, I believe. He's very famous. He's very successful, isn't he? Kygo is a Norwegian DJ. He's a DJ. Norwegian DJ, music producer. Uh, worked with Ed Sheeran, I See Fire. He's done a lot of big stuff. Like, I've heard of Kygo, and I don't even follow DJs and stuff, and I've heard of Kygo. My, probably one of the most famous Norwegians, especially to music lovers, huh? Nikolai Kliv Brosh is a Norwegian theater and film actor. He rose to fame playing a leading role in a drama series, Lek Lek Stu, in 2002, and playing Buddy in a romantic comedy. So he's just like a, a well-known Norwegian actor, huh? Right, okay. <laughs> cool. It's fun to learn about the Norwegian actors, because there's all these American actors that I randomly know of, and it makes sense that in every country, there's also just, like, actors from from random countries around the world who are famous in that country, and I don't get to see their work or their movies. And uh, it's fun to learn about some Norwegian actors who have done well. Marit Bjorg Bjorgen. Marit Bjorgen is a former Norwegian cross-country skier. Oh, here we go. Only Nor <laughs> Norway would have famous skiers. That's very Norwegian. She ranked first in the all-time cross-country World Cup rankings with 114 victories. One of the most successful sprinters in cross-country World Cup history. Easily one of the most famous Norwegian women. Wow! I'm glad I'm learning about this. I didn't I didn't know anything about her. One of the most well-known Norwegian cross-country skiers. Wow, super decorated, super successful female cross-country skier. That's awesome. Very Norwegian. <laughs> Jacob Oftebro. Jacob Oftebro is a Norwegian actor, okay? Appeared in more than 20 films like Hamilton and Kontiki. Nominated for the Academy Award for Best Foreign Language Film. Cool. Cast as the lead in a Danish production. Another famous Norwegian actor. Okay, famous Norwegian actor as well. Cool. Very cool. And who do we have here? Thor Bjorn Har, Norwegian actor. That's all it says. <laughs> Agnes Kittelsen, uh, Norwegian, Norwegian actress as well. Okay. Aurora. Wow. It's funny because I know some of these names. I, I recognize some of these people like Aurora. I just didn't realize some of them were Norwegian, honestly. And maybe it's because Norwegians are so good at speaking English that uh, whenever I see them interviewed or something, I don't know that they're Norwegian, actually. Aurora. She had a very, very famous song uh, that was really popular on TikTok. Don't ask me how I know that. <laughs> Norwegian singer, born in Stavanger, huh? Began writing songs at six years old. Wow. Released her first album in 2016. She has become incredibly successful. Incredibly successful. It's very cool. It's very, like, worldwide, like, very popular with a lot of Americans. Very cool to see that happen for Norwegians get mainstream attention in the United States. I like that. Okay, you know what? Man, there are a lot of famous Norwegians, uh, I'm very happy to say, but this is, <laughs> this is going on a lot further, and I've already been going at this for a while now, so I think I'm going to stop for now and continue this list of famous Norwegians in part two. I'm really enjoying this. I'm learning about all sorts of incredible people from Norway that I had no idea. No idea, it's all new to me and it's fantastic. Uh, good to finally learn this stuff, you know? So if you enjoyed this video, feel free to give it a like or leave a comment. 
And if you're interested in part two, where I'll be continuing this, uh, or if you're interested in just more videos of me reacting to Norway and Norwegian culture, feel free to subscribe for more. And until then, thanks for watching, and see you next time.